Welcome back, Highland brothers and sisters. This is part four of the Scottish campaign of Stainless Steel 6.4. I made sure to turn up my music and sound effects because it's it was a little quiet in past videos. So hopefully it's a lot better. And also, I'm going to remember to do general speeches. All right, so we have the English. Uh, it looks like they want to siege York. Uh, they want to take it back, which is understandable. But remember, we killed their king. And the Pope was like, you know what, England, you're cool again, because your your old king, now that he's dead, he was an asshole. So I'll let you back into the church. But um, so I don't know if I can if I continue to fight England, the Pope will get mad at me. Which honestly, I really don't care. What is he gonna call a crusade on me? Bring it on, bring it on, bring all the armies around the world. I will destroy them. So we're gonna go ahead and move some forces from the capital they're gonna support the cause down at the at the front here and let's see we should probably recruit more units in here more highland troops we'll go ahead we'll go ahead and send this fleet this way to to pick them up and transport them over to the front lines it's a lot quicker and what else was I gonna oh yes if we defeat these two armies uh, these two English armies I think this is like their main force so we defeat them, we can cut through the rest of England like a hot knife through butter. So hopefully we can defeat them with ease and then we can just finish off England. So we moved we moved my spy here kinda in the center and it looks like it looks like this is I'm right about their force. I think this is their main army here, so if we take that out, England's looking pretty bad. Um, 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 um. All right, let's uh, convert. I want to convert this castle into a, a town because towns are more, you know, remember I want Ireland to be more of an economy island, not a military place. So I'm going to convert the cities and make sure I mostly build like uh, economy type buildings. So I'm converting it to a town because towns are focused on economy and castles are more focused on military. Of course, naturally. Let's end the turn. Alright, let's see what England does here. If he retreats or continues to attack us. Because now that he's on good terms with the Pope. Hopefully I don't get a message from the Pope being like, Hey buddy, we don't like you attacking the English because we're pals now. Alright, ride, sure, we'll accept it. King of Sicily is dead. And, wow, yes. We have the English moving. Look at this. They moved their forces from the north. And they also moved this army forward, which is like one unit. I don't know what he's thinking. But I'm going to destroy it, that's for sure, with the king's army. Oops. Oh, no. There we go. Alright, I'm going to auto-resolve this because this is pretty obvious that we're going to win this one. Oh, we lost five. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Okay. So we scared them off. Shoo, shoo, English. Shoo. This is our land. We'll go ahead and uh, send the reinforcements to York. And we'll get this fleet over here to pick up some uh, reinforcements from the north. Oh, we'll send some rabble as well. Get them going down south. And I guess we'll go ahead and march out here. And uh, go after Nottingham. So we'll take most of my forces here. Uh, we'll leave behind... Let's leave behind two spear militia. There we are. Yes, crush the enemy. Very cool. And York's still pretty happy, so that's good. Um, I'll worry about buildings there later. Um, I think we're pretty safe here. Since we have two forces crashing down on the English, I don't think they're gonna sneak a force anywhere and attack an undefended city. Uh, let's go ahead and build a uh, garrison quarters there, though. So I can get better infantry near the front lines. So I'm gonna double check all my cities and castles, making sure that they are growing and building. Um, you know what, let's just build something here. Even though we don't really need it, we'll just get a leather tanner. And that should be good. Oh, my diplomat. I always forget about the diplomat. Let's get him to Italy. Oh, uh, that was that a rebel settlement? Yeah. All right. Oh, Venice. Good to see you, lad. All right. Let's not be allies. Let's just be trade rights. 
Trade rats barely accepted. I really hope the music's not too loud, because right now it's like blaring in my ear. I don't know how it's going to be in the video, but... Okay, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I'm so paranoid about this music being loud. We'll do 30%, how about that? Alright, that's much better. Okay. So, um, where's the fight? It is Tomorrowland. That's where the fight is. Alright, let's end the turn, guys. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Um, the weather is getting a lot nicer where I live because summer is on its way. And summer is always nice at the start, but then it gets way too hot. And England, striking us. Okay, so we are outnumbered, but we have a better leader. We have a prince. They just have Captain Philip. <laughs> I'm the captain now. All right, let's fight. Another snowy battlefield. Look at the settlement here. This is kind of cool. All right, so deployment wise, we're looking pretty good. We've got the slight terrain advantage. So let's go ahead and set up the artillery. Now remember, they're gonna come to us, so that's good. Uh, let's get these archers and Irish kerns. We'll get them grouped up. Turn off skirmish mode for the uh, levy archers. We'll put the archers about right here in the javis. And let's get the border horse on this flank. Get the highlanders and the rabble and the Gwent, Gwent raiders. Group them up. They're gonna be the front lines. The brave few to hold the front lines. And keep the general back here. And what is this? Oh, some spearmen? Alright, we'll keep them in reserve in case we need to protect or reinforce the main lines. So if we destroy this army, I'm pretty sure we take Nottingham. If not, the next turn. Alright, what is this? These look like some deadly archers. England and the deadly archers. Alright, let's see. It's got a bunch of spears. Nothing too intimidating. Um, let's see if my... Alright, my ballista cannot fire yet. Let's go ahead and fast forward until it's in range. There we go. Okay. I want to get some good shots of this fire. I'll, I hope we kill a bunch of... They are really grouping up. Look at this. Can we please just pierce a bolt through there? Or whatever you call it. Ballista ammo. Come on. Oh, they're coming up short. Man, they're so pathetic. Ballistas are like nerfed down in this or something. Use fire ammo, because why not? Oh, we killed a guy. One guy. Look, he's probably... If this was like real life, we killed one guy from the ballista. He has this like giant bolt in his chest. Like, oh, so gruesome. Oh, man. Alright, we'll get the general on this flank. We'll prepare the border horse in case the archers get a little uh, crafty. Oh, oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Good hit there. Wow, look how close he's getting with these levy archers. They're now in range of my archers. What is he doing? What are you doing, chap? Good chap. Oh, another good hit. Go, Ballista, go. All right, let's try to sneak a charge in. Let's actually, let's wait a little bit because he's got some spears running through. All right, let's charge back. Yeah, this is gonna be a fairly easy victory. Oh man, this mod. All right, he's chasing my cav over here, that's fine. Oh, good hit. Look, he's breaking already. Let's get my, ge my general around. Prince, put pressure on the flank. Alright, god, he's really running down my my calf here. Oh, this is pathetic. Alright, continue to pursue them. Uh, archers, you could probably hold fire. So just, just get it, just, just get away. Oh, jeez, border horse. Oh, we just, we slot, yeah, we slaughtered this unit. Oh, nice. We must, uh, we must have had a really good charge there with my border horse. 
Okay. Uh, you guys, fight. Fight them. Do not run away. The, en the enemy general, their captain, Captain Philip, is on the run. Alright, Ballista, you can stop firing too. We have to kill 80% of them, guys. We only killed 51%. So, if we want to take the castle. Finish them off. Uh, actually, you know what? Archers? Well, never mind. Come on, chase them down, guys. Like, let's not just look at each other and talk about your day. Let's kill the, the enemy. enemy. Are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Dogs. That is a victory, victory horn there. All right, sixty-six percent now. All right, so we'll go ahead and fast forward, guys, because there's no like tactical stuff here. There's nothing too crazy exciting. Just running down a bunch of uh, shattered English. Let's help out, let's help out uh, my rabble over here. This music though, so nice. Man, these border horse are really handy. All right, we've killed enough, so we can end it, guys. We lost 73 in that battle. That is a successful battle. Captain Philip, he, he ran away, we didn't kill him. He has 126 men left. We'll see you on the campaign map. Alright, we're gonna execute. Oh, we didn't kill enough. Look at this, they're like, quickly! Send everything we have to the Scottish! And at the same time, I'm gonna take my king and go south while they're occupied with the army in the north. Whatever. I should have done that earlier. I was not paying attention. Alright, we've got a bunch of buildings built. A bunch of factions are at war with you. Oh, look at this. Kingdom of England and Kingdom of France. Thank you, Frenchies, for helping me out. So let us recruit uh, some Welsh spearmen. Hell yeah. Let's go down this way. Attack. So we're going to take out these cities while the English are occupied over here. Um, we should just build a camp. A fort. I'll add some defenses. If they're going to pursue us, then go for it. And now we can, uh, wow, we can really start to build some awesome stuff, guys. So in York, um, it's going to be like a hybrid. It's going to have some nice military buildings, like a town guard. Oh, well, that's not really that nice, but um, town hall, what would that do? Let's get um, this, this, this hut here to increase the, the taxes. Oh, we can get some hobblers. I think is how it's pronounced. Okay, we're building there, we are building here. We are about to convert this into a city, or town. Let's go ahead and get a uh, brothel here. And can't really get anything here. We'll get another spy. We're building a catapult maker. And over here, mm, we're already building. We'll get some hobblers, because why not? And I think that's it. Let's, let's send my spy this way, see what's up. Let's see, 50% chance of me getting inside, but let's, this is it, wow, we should be able to just completely destroy them. Alright, so let's end Z10. Oh, my diplomat. Who's that, the Papal States? Is that, is that who that is? The little orange faction? The British Isles will soon be ours, Droll. Which is very exciting. Then I'll have a whole island to myself. I'll be protected by water. Okay, cool. New mission. Oh, cool. I have the same mission. Oh, it's Genoa. Okay, that's who that is. Well, it's uh, trade rights. They accepted. Alright, what do we get? 500 florins. It's not much, but it adds up. Still 17th overall, compared to all the other factions. And let's see, we got a spy, we have some hablas. Oh, England is now at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Everyone is declaring war in England. That's hilarious. It not, they're not really gonna do anything. 
Okay, they're just okay. They're just fortifying uh, Nottingham, making it very difficult for me to attack. But that's okay because I've got reinforcements on the way. Go ahead and do that here, and we'll go ahead and get them to the fort. I'm just gonna sit right here. If he wants to defend Nottingham, I'm just gonna go for his other settlements. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll just build a bunch of ladders. This should be a pretty easy siege. Yeah, of course they're mad at me. What What do you expect? Like, what? What are you expecting? Alright, we're building, we're building. Let's double check all the settlements. Um, can we get any awesome units? I really need a catapult so I can take out cities in one turn instead of having to wait to build siege equipment. Uh, okay, so we're building all over there pretty soon. We will have another English city and they will be down to three. Alright, our diplomat is on his way to the Papal States. And I think we're good to go, guys. Uh, I guess we could recruit more units. Yeah, we can get some more archers and getting some border horse would be useful. Let's, let's end the turn. So I know I said in the first episode that I'm going to go for the Iberian Peninsula. That would be my next target after I take out England. But I think I'm going to go for Norway because they might attack me. Like, Norway is more of a threat right now than Spain and the Moors because they're busy killing each other, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Norway. I don't know if they're like, they have good ties with the Pope. King of Denmark is dead. Target London. Send a fleet to blockade London. Okay, sure. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down. Alright, let's see what the Pope wants. Okay, just a cardinal report. Construction report. Got some more units. And got an ally here all right cool um we can attack here let's see if we attack i'm worried about lifting the siege because we attack uh one of these armies i hope they reinforce them oh let's get more gwent raiders hell yeah all right let's attack um wait less oh that's not what i wanted okay good this works out right is this yes so if we kill the if we kill them here We'll take the settlement, I'm pretty sure. So let's fight this one, guys. Okay, crap. I completely forgot to, to turn on that timer of uh, how much time has gone by. So I know the video isn't too long or too short or whatever. So I have no idea how much time it's been. You guys know because you're looking at the video, of course. <laughs> but I have no idea. So I don't know when to end it. Uh, let's go ahead and group up my infantry here. I don't have much infantry, but good thing for these mercenaries, I have four at least. I have a lot of archers. There we go. Form one line. One line of death. Alright, we have a, we have a ton of archers. Let's group up the archers. Form one line, and look at the Irish Kerns right here, and that's pretty good. All right, let us march towards the enemy, and we will finish them. Let's see, my general, my general alone could win this battle. The horse here is kind of concerning, but we'll see. Let's just charge my general in, see what happens, <laughs> and then let's set up my uh, my archers up on this hill like so. We'll go ahead and and rush them, get my infantry right behind them. So what we're going to do is take out this army as quick as possible and then prepare for the second army. Which is really far away, so we have a lot of time. And this is the army, this is the garrison force inside that castle. And this is actually a true general here. So this will be a good, uh, good victory here. If we can kill their general, it's another person out of their family tree. Boom, watch this guys. Boom! Get out of here! Just like that, they're down to seven. And they're broken. Uh-oh. They're going for my... No, no, no. Attack my general. Archers. Retreat. Alright, just fight. Just fight now. We got them surrounded. Oh, my archers really took a, a beating there, but... It's alright. This unit will break pretty instantly. That was pretty careless of me. Let's get the rest of the infantry over here. 
victory will be ours. All right, Only let's... half the enemy force remains. General, get out of there. Don't fight Spearman, General. Alright, let's finish off these Spearmen. General, stay back. Alright, everybody that's infantry should be fighting the Spearmen. I'm surprised they're still fighting. Nice. Killed Captain Matthew. Alright, let's let's now position my army over here near the lone tree. The Battle of the Lone Tree. Alright, so we'll go ahead and fast forward. So I probably will do a very glorious general charge into this army as well. I think these are sergeants or highly upgraded infant or spearmen. Check out their their armor here. That is gorgeous. So cool, man. This mod, so worth it, guys. All right, come on now. March, you Scottish fools. You bastards. All right, let's do a glori glorious charge. Let's see if we can get in there and get out real quick. All right, let's rush my archers into position now. Here we go. Oh, so nice. Oh, okay. I was afraid of that. This is the king. King is a crazy ass bastard. Let's charge in my infantry. Archers, stop. Oof. Good charge there by their general. But it won't be enough. Oh, or maybe it will. He's, he just ran right through my my troops. That is unbelievable. As my galg like axemen wrecking stuff. All right, archers, hold fire, please. All right, we've killed 76%. So yeah, I don't know, like, sorry guys, I'm going to turn up the music a little bit, because for some reason the campaign music is a lot louder than the uh, battlefield music. Oh, and I forgot to do general speech. Damn. I keep forgetting, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let's uh, end the battle. We lost 87, uh, which is kind of high, I guess. It's not that bad. Uh, but uh, overall, good battle, and I'll see you guys in the campaign map. All right, so we're going to execute. Oh, what? We didn't take the settlement. Where did they get all these troops from? That's annoying. All right, let's just continue to hold out here. We killed a lot of forces, which is good. Uh, I really don't know how much time I have left on this campaign, so I'm going to probably end it here because it feels like it's been a while. So... Uh, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get a leather tanner in York. We will continue to do what we're doing Continue to do what we do best which is build send some reinforcements to the camp Keep the English occupied uh, Over here. We can you know what we can probably disband some of these These units here okay, Let's disband like three of them So we can get free upkeep costs on the rest and we'll continue to raise some forces. Uh, these will be reinforcements for the final push on England. And let's see. Can we build here? You know what? Let's just get a ballista maker here. And everything here seems pretty good. So next turn, I think that will be a town. We'll convert it. And I think that's everything, guys. So, a very fun episode. We killed a lot of English today. A lot, a lot of English. Can't really build anything there. And, uh, so yeah, hopefully next episode, I think I might be able to take out the English. This is going to be a pretty epic battle here. There's some very large army. Oh, and he has some light men-at-arms. So, I also, I think if we take this settlement, it's going to be a great bonus for our kingdom. Because it's going to have some very advanced technology in there. 
So I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.